First on BBC One, more wry observations on life as viewed by Kelly Monteith. Hi, welcome to Kelly Monteith BBC Memories. I'm Kelly Monteith, and that was an example of how we opened the show. We always had a cold opening. Not always, but for the most part, we had a, a cold opening that would um, just be before the titles or anything else that happened, or, or even the beginning of the show. This next scene came from, this is almost the opposite. It's probably the last year, show six. And I'm in the scene with um, uh, an actress named Trudy Styler. Um, whose husband happens to be Sting, but that's not her claim to fame. She was a great actress. She was from the um, RSC, the Royal Shakespeare Company. Um, she toured with uh, years for with Peter O'Toole and his company, and she's a terrific actress. And we were very blessed to have her on the show. And we did this scene. It's called the Conversation Mix-Up. And I'm sure this has happened to a lot of people. You go to a restaurant and you're seated at a table for two and right next to you is another table for two and another table for two after that. And you can almost hear, overhear each other's conversations. And this one, we get the conversations mixed up between two tables. And it was not easy to do, but we did it in one take, which we thought we all screwed up, but they said, no, no, it's fine. So it's always good to have a, a third eye telling you, you know, otherwise we'd have done it again and probably screwed it up. So it really came off uh, pretty well in one take. So this is called The Conversation Mix-Up. Myself and Trudy Styler. Hope you enjoy it. Roll it. Don't you get sick of eating out? Oh, yeah. I think I spent all my life eating in restaurants. I suppose that's why there's so many restaurant scenes in my shows. This is a lovely place. Yeah, I like it. It's my neighborhood hangout kind. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Hmm? Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you, uh, you eat out a lot? Yes. Funny, I should have thought you'd cook. Oh, I do cook. Hmm? What do you fancy? You have a specialty? Dover sole or... Um... Beef Wellington. Hmm, too fattening. Anything else? Fish isn't fattening. No, beef Wellingtons. Well, actually, I make a chicken curry that would knock your socks off. Ah, that's why there's so many barefoot people in India. <laughs> My flatmate's a great cook, though. You know, I wanted to ask you about that. When a man and a woman share a flat, there's got to be some hanky-panky somewhere along the line. Have you heard about me and Ian? No. no. I'm leaving him. He's gay. Mm. Really? I've no idea. <laughs> I've had enough. But he always has been. Mm. He doesn't even bother to hide it anymore. Well, a lot of them don't these days. <laughs> I'm shocked. Does he ever bring anybody home? He never did it at home. I mean, that could be kind of uncomfortable. Well, we have an agreement. Hmm? For years, his secretary was the only person who knew about it. We don't bring anybody home. Well, he certainly fooled me. What? To spend the night, that is. Oh. Imagine going to bed with a man for years. We're both really old-fashioned. We don't sleep around. Uh. And then find out he's sleeping with men. Sleeping with men? I don't. No. Who's what? sleeping with men? <laughs> Ian. Ian? Sleeping with men? Where did you hear that? Well, didn't you just say that Ian was gay? No, I, I think that... Uh... Oh, Ian? <laughs> gay? I never said that. No, no, her flatmate's gay. Can 
Really? I don't want the whole world to know. <laughs> Neither do I. About what? Ian. Who's Ian? Her gay husband. He's not gay. <laughs> I'm leaving Ian because he's a drunk. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that was our, uh, our conversation mix-up, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Um, so that was one of the joys of, about doing that. And it was so good to work with Trudy. She was a real pro. I mean, boy, she got the lines right away. And so were the other two ladies. It was a really difficult thing to do, actually, as an actor. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some laughs out of it. That's the main thing. Um, it was a long time ago. Uh, so the, um, some of the cultural references were a little dated. But other than that, it was, I think it still stands up. So I hope you enjoyed it, and um, we we'll look forward to uh, seeing you on the next episode of Kelly Monteith with Kelly Monteith's BBC Memories. And don't forget to watch Kelly's new series, The Real Geezers of Beverly Hills on Amazon. Is that you, God? Why, yes, Kelly, it is. Oh, thank you, God. Anytime.